In this video, we will be learning how to install and use the ZenMap on Kali Linux. But first, let's understand what ZenMap is. ZenMap is just the graphical user interface of Nmap. If you do not know what Nmap is, Nmap is mostly used for port scanning, but you can also discover host or services in your network. You can think of ZenMap as a network scanning tool. With that being said, do not scan networks you do not have the permission to scan. Only scan your network. In this video, I'll be scanning only my network. So without further ado, let's start the installation process. After that, we will be learning how to use the ZenMap on Kali Linux. So first, I'll open up my terminal and type sudo apt update and then press enter. After your local package has been updated, install ZenMap with the command sudo apt install zenmap dash kbx and then press enter. Do you want to continue? Press capital Y and then press enter. After the installation of ZenMap, we can easily start ZenMap by clicking the Kali button here and then search for ZenMap. You can see the icon of ZenMap exists. So click on the icon and your ZenMap will start. The first thing that I notice when my ZenMap starts is the target field. In this target field, you can specify an IP address or you can also specify the range of IP addresses that you want to scan. Since I'll be scanning my own network, so first I'll go to my terminal and type the command ifconfig and then press enter. I can confirm that my network address is 192.168.1 and I'm in the slash 24 subnet. So in the target field, I will type 192.168.1.0 forward slash 24. I could also specify the range of addresses like 192.168.1.2.255. And in the profile, I have the option to do different types of scan. I have the option to do intense scan intense scan with tcb ports udp ping scan quick scan first let me do a ping scan to see all the devices that are online in my network so i'll select ping scan and then click on scan i can see there are six hosts that are online in my network here 192.168.1.1 is the default gateway of my router 1.2 and 1.3 are my virtual network interface cards and the last three are the virtual machines that are running on my network on the left side if I select host, I can see all the devices that are online in my network. And if I selected services or ports, I can see no information because ping scan does not give information about services or ports. If I selected topology, I can see this is how my network looks. Let me go back to Nmap output and let me do a different scan with only one virtual machine, which is this one. So I'll be scanning this server. So I'll type the IP address here, which is 192.168.1.4. Let me do a quick scan. The result of quick scan will be much faster as opposed to the intense scan, but intense scan will give much more detailed output. But for now, let me do a quick scan and then click on scan. I can see these are all the services that are running on my this virtual machine. Here, the port number is the number of port that the service is running on. So for example, the FTP service is now running on port 21 with the protocol TCP and the state of the port is open. In the left side, I can see all the services. If I click any of the service like HTTP, it will take me to ports. And I can also learn which type of scans I did by clicking on the scans tab here. And lastly, I will do a intense scan so that you understand the difference between quick scan and intense scan. So I'll select intense scan and then click on scan. After the scanning has been completed, if I scroll down, I can see not only the name of the service and the port that it is running on, but I get additional details about the type of the service. And this is for all the ports and the services. And if I scroll more down, I can see details about the type of the server that it is. I can see this is the MAC address of the server, which is a virtual machine in my virtual box right now. And it is running Linux. So that is how you do different types of scan with ZenMap. And if you wanted to save the result of these scans, you would click on scan on the upper tab here and then click on save scan. In the tool section, you can compare your results with other scans. And in the profile section, if you click on new profile or command, you can do more targeted scans. So that is for the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.